What's up Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora and welcome back everyone to another event on the channel. This one is called the Luobu Transformation Night event and I know, I know, I am over a week late on this one. I was on vacation, I couldn't record it and also when I came back, Roblox was down for three days. But I put a poll on my channel to see if anyone was still interested in this video and a lot of you guys were. So if you guys already have done this event, let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't, be sure to watch until the end of this episode to figure out how to get each and every single item inside the Luobu Transformation Night event, including how to do all 20 missions inside the attached co-op games. Now let's take a look what this event is actually all about. This is the rewards exchange, and here are a bunch of rewards that you can redeem in-game and for your avatar. How do you know what's for your avatar? It's the ones with the yellow Roblox logo over them. So there are four items that you can get in this event for your avatar, including these beautiful headphones that everyone has been loving. It looks awesome for the Halloween season. Then there are two sets of clothes. One of them you get two shirts and one of them you get two pants. And lastly, there is the Nezha package. If you haven't got it from other events, you can get it here. Now to buy the headphones, you need 400 shiny orbs. The two packages over there are 750 orbs and the Nezha is 1,500. So you need a lot of shiny orbs. And not only that though, guys, you need to actually unlock them because if you look at them, it says locked. The reason why they're locked is because you have to unlock them by also buying the in-game items. Unfortunately, that sucks. So to actually get this headphones, it's not only 400 shiny orbs. You actually need to spend 900 shiny orbs because you first have to unlock this one right here, then unlock these lightsaber looking things, and then unlock finally the headphones themselves. To get the shirts and the pants, you actually have to unlock all the way up to this butterfly wings. So you're going to need a total of 2,750 orbs to unlock one of the two packages, and you're going to need another 750 to unlock the other one. And then finally, to get the Nezha, you're going to need to unlock every single thing in this area, which is going to take a lot, a lot of thousands of shiny orbs. So good luck, everyone. It's going to take some grinding. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, how do you get these shiny orbs? Because currently, I have zero, and I got to get some right now. Well, there are three options that you can take. The first option is getting 300 shiny orbs per week by getting 10 people to come to your lobby. You can invite them here by going over the platform, or you can wait till they join. And once this gets to 10, walk over the platform again to get 300 shiny balls. Unfortunately, like I said, you can only do this once per week. So let's move on to option two, where you can do it every day. That's by going into the dance floor over here. You get teleported a little bit, and here you can press E to dance. There are 20 total dances per day, and each dance is around 15 seconds worth five shiny orbs for a total of 100 shiny orbs per day. But I wouldn't do it that soon, because if you have a friend with you or an alt account, be sure to have them join and dance right beside you you as I'm going to do right now with one of my friends and notice at the bottom there it is not worth five anymore for one dance it's worth 15 if you take a look at the right side and click on the dance icon you will see it in more detail again it like I said it says five for one time or 15 for one time if you dance with your friends finally let's move on to option three if you click on the mission at the right hand side or go to the mission teleport over there you will see a series of missions that you have to complete to get some shiny orbs there are total of 20 games inside the Roblox platform that you guys can go ahead and play, beat the mission in that game, come back to the Luobu experience, and redeem your prizes. Each mission completed will give you 100 shiny orbs, and there are a total of 20 missions currently out right now for the next 11 days. Complete them all, and you get yourself 2,000 shiny orbs. Unfortunately, they are a one-off thing, so if you complete them, you won't be able to do it again. But there is some good news, because in under two weeks, there'll be another series of 20 missions in 20 different Roblox experiences that you can complete the missions there to get another 2,000 shiny orbs then. But by that time, if you've been grinding every day, you should have enough shiny orbs to actually get every single item in this game anyways. Now, this isn't the end of the video because we got to do some missions. I'm going to take a look at each and every single one of these missions, showing you how to do them all. If you already have done some and need help on others, timestamps are down in the description below, or you can hop around in this video right now to get some help on whatever ever once you are missing. So let's get the show started and get some shiny orbs. Welcome to Defend the Earth, location of the first mission known as Pumpkin Festival. To complete the mission, you're gonna want to go into the dropship by the Join the Fight sign. Enter it and you will be spawned into a battlefield filled with a bunch of mobs that will spawn in randomly. Defeat enough mobs with your weapons and collect 10 pumpkins to complete this mission. But as you guys are watching, not every mob drops these pumpkins. It's a really rare chance to get 
them, but it shouldn't take too long. It took me about 10 minutes to get all 10. Once you get 10, though, you can leave the game, join back into the lobby, and then go talk to this fancy pumpkin suit guy and click exchange tickets on the first one. When you do that, you will see at the bottom right, there is a badge called Pumpkin Festival. That's how you know you completed the mission. Now that that's done, all you have to do is rejoin the Luobu event and 100 tokens will be placed into your inventory absolutely free. Welcome to Building Block Simulator, the location for the next mission known as Stingy Jack. To complete the mission, all you have to do is build something, anything. And because I'm completely new and some of you guys will be new, all you have to do here is build the shop. It's worth absolutely nothing. Pick up the items that will launch out of here and bring them back to the location that is lit up. How you know which block to bring? Well, there's a beam of light coming out of it that's kind of hard to see, but you will see it. It's not too bad, guys. It takes a little bit of time. And before you know it, you're done it. Boom, you get a fireworks show and you get your badge at the bottom right. That's how you know you beat the mission and you go back to Luobu and claim your prize. Welcome to Dinosaur City Simulator, the location for the next mission. And all you have to do for this one, it's super, super easy. Go straight on ahead to a pumpkin looking dragon morph thing. As soon as you get there, just go on top of the red button and boom, you will transform to this morph and you get yourself the happy Halloween award. That's how you know you did the event already. Yep, it's as simple as that, guys. Go ahead and join the Luobu event and you will get yourself another 100 shiny orbs. Welcome to Survive Doomsday Simulator, the location for the next mission. And what you're going to want to do for this mission is really easy. You just have to go to spawn and collect five candies throughout the map. Map. You can tell by the way they sparkle. Go to each one and press E on them and it will say congratulations on getting a new item. Once you collect five candies, go ahead and press on the task icon, then hit receive reward. Once you do that, you will get yourself the complete five candy quests award and that's how you know you beat the mission. Go back to Luabu and claim your 100 shiny orbs. Welcome to a wolf or other, the location of the next mission. And in this one, what you're going to want to do is find and collect 12 pumpkins. Now, you could do this in any one of the maps, but I would highly recommend doing Grand Manor because it's the easiest to get pumpkins on. The pumpkins around the map will be glowing, so go on ahead and walk right up to it. Also, if you forget how many you've collected, it shows up as soon as you collect them. If you can't find enough pumpkins in the map in time, don't be afraid to leave the game and join a new one in search of more pumpkins. The pumpkins will stay from game to game, so you don't have to worry about that. As soon as you get all 12 pumpkins, you will get the Pumpkin Festival Collector Award. Award, and that's how you know you completed this mission. Head back to Luobu and claim your prize. Welcome to Cool Obby 2, the next mission location. What you're going to want to do is click Pumpkin Festival at your right and collect 10 pumpkins that are scattered throughout this obby at random. It's super, super duper easy. You got this, guys. They float around and emit sparkles. Sometimes you'll get one in one location, and sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll get two or more. Once you collect your 10th, you will complete the Pumpkin Festival quest and get yourself the Cool Obby 2 pumpkin pumpkin award. That means that you've completed the quest and you can go redeem your 100 shiny orbs at the Luobu event. Welcome to Egg Simulator, a game I play way too much for events. And in this specific event, what you're going to want to do is look at the quest tab and complete all 10 of these Halloween quests. If you're fairly new, this is going to take some time because like every simulator starting off, you have to grind a little bit, then empty your bag, then grind a little bit more, then empty your bag, then upgrade your stuff. It's going to be tough in the beginning for you. But if if you've done events with me in the past, then you should be a little bit farther and able to grind quite a bit. So if you have progressed in this game before in the past, you are able to go to your regions that are much, much better and you can get a few things easier. The hardest thing though will be your 100 pumpkins. That is the total amount of pumpkins you will need to complete a couple missions. And on top of that, you'll need 100 eggs as well. But by the time you get 100 pumpkins, your 100 eggs should be complete. And not only that, but your 10 gems that are scattered throughout the map should also be acquired by the time you get all those pumpkins. Pumpkins. Once you collect enough pumpkins, gems, and coins, don't forget you have to level up three times and also hatch 15 pets. That is probably the easiest one of them all. As long as you're grinding, you can get those super duper easy. And once you're finished all the quests, don't forget to hit that claim button and spam that because ladies and gentlemen, you've gotten yourself all 10 items found. Hit the final claim and you get yourself the pumpkin quest award, which means you've completed the Luobu quest for Egg Simulator. Welcome to Empty Island Adventure and in this 
this game, the mission is to collect 50 candies that drop around the map and make your sword. The candies will fall from the sky either in the spawn location or in the first level realm, whatever you want to call it, the forest area, and they could be on the grass or even in the water, so keep a lookout for those. If it seems like candies aren't spawning as frequently as you would like, don't be afraid to jump into a new lobby because those candies will carry over from each and every single lobby, so you don't have to worry about that. And once you get 50 candies, go ahead and press on the top right activity tab and hit that receive button and you will craft yourself a brand new sword, getting yourself the pumpkin festival award. And of course, if you go back to Luobu, you get yourself another 100 orbs. Welcome to growing up. And in this game, the mission is to find and collect six magic brooms that are hidden throughout the map. Be sure to follow exactly the path that I take because it will be the fastest and most efficient way to get all six of these magic brooms. The first one, as you see, is located inside the first house right in front of the witch and it's in the first right room. Now, once you get out of there, I highly recommend you guys going straight across into the gas station because if you can see, there is a broom at the top of that gas station and you can only access it with the blue coil. Once you get that, I highly recommend grabbing some Gatorade because it makes you fast and it will make it a lot easier. Now, once you're done that, head to the house with the blue walls. Once you enter the door, take a right where there are three doors located in a little semicircle. Take another Gatorade drink whenever you're running low on fuel and head to the greenhouse. Entering the greenhouse, you're going to want to go upstairs because at the very end, there is a another broom in the last room. Heading out from the greenhouse, don't forget to head to the yellow house because in there is another broom. Entering the door to the yellow house, take a left and then your first right and here is another broom. Once you escape, be sure to get out the back door, then jump on the trampoline and that will take you straight to the high school and if you go way at the end of the high school, you will see your next broom. Go ahead and collect that and you will get yourself the growing up I found the brooms award. Now you can fly in this game, which is pretty cool, but what really matters is that when you join the Luobu game, you get another 100 shiny orbs. Welcome to Island Tribes and in this game, the mission is to collect 15 pumpkins that spawn randomly throughout the map. Now it might seem easy, but it can be hard because they spawn quite rarely and they spawn on the server side, meaning that anyone can mine them. If one person mines it in the lobby, then you will not get that pumpkin. To collect the pumpkin, you have to hit it with anything, and if you're a noob like me, all you have is a stick that does one damage. These pumpkins have 15 health, and when you knock each and every single one of their points, you will get that pumpkin. But keep in mind, the one that counts isn't the first 14, it's the final hit. As you see here, I saw someone else hitting a pumpkin, and then I took the final hit, and I got the pumpkin, and they didn't. So that's why it's difficult. I had to do it because it's so hard to find these gosh darn things. But there is good news because sometimes you will get two pumpkins inside one of them like I did here for the final one. And as soon as you get all 15 pumpkins, you get yourself the Halloween 2021 award. And that means you get yourself 100 shiny orbs. Welcome to Marble Mania. And the mission in this game is to collect 15 pumpkins that are hidden throughout the map. Although the first four aren't really hidden that well. As you can see, they're right in the main area. And then the fifth one is right on this little teleporter that will put you into a minecart, but be sure to hop off once you get that pumpkin because we're heading to the sky. All four cannons will lead you to the top of the floating island. Once you get there, be sure to fall down and head for the corner that looks dark with black rock because the next pumpkin, if you land correctly, will be right in front of your eyes. Now turn around and head into the underground. Your second left-hand turn will be the eruption sign and under there will be your next pumpkin. Turn 180 degrees again and head over to the speeding wall where you have to either get around the walls or jump over them to get the next pumpkin. But watch out, you might get caught by the speeding wall and have to do that all over again. After getting launched by the teleporter, head over to the fun pier because in between two cannons is your next pumpkin. Speaking about cannons, take the one that's pointing towards the island and it will launch you straight to the next pumpkin on top of a little tower. On that tower, there is a cannon. Take it so that you head back to the middle where you can take those cannons to the top of the floating island once again. This time, you're gonna wanna go to the edge where you can fall straight down onto the green side, the one that's kind of built up like a mountain. There inside a target is your next pumpkin. And then through the hole right beside of it, head down to the bottom where you will see another pumpkin on a table. Don't go anywhere yet because you're going to have to go back up there this time on an elevator and it might take a little bit of time. But once you get up here, go to the top of the mountain and head across this rainbow obby. Don't worry if you fall, you will get teleported back as you see there. It took me a couple tries, but I got to the end and got the next pumpkin.
pumpkin. Fall down right away. Make sure not to fall off the island because right by the target practice sign is your 14th pumpkin. Now follow this path that I'm taking right now to the ramp with boosts on it because it will lead you straight across to the island with a red tower and falling down this little hole, there will be your 15th and final pumpkin. Collect all 15 and you will get the pumpkin quest award badge and that means if you go back and join the Luabu event, 100 shiny orbs are now yours. Welcome to Mermaid Life and in this game, the mission is... <coughs> is to do nothing because this mission is cancelled. So welcome to Arc Tycoon, the game that replaced Mermaid Life in the Luabu event because I guess they decided to take it off. I'm not too sure why, but the mission anyways here is to just complete that boat over there. As simple as that, it's probably as easy as the Mermaid Life one, so don't you guys worry. As soon as you spawn in, go to your boat here. Now, to complete your boat, just walk over the green stuff, kind of like a tycoon, and consume some of the wood that you have in your inventory. It does take a little bit of time, so so you might have to wait around a while for your wood to spawn in. Every once in a while, 10 or so wood will go inside your inventory. Currently, as you see right now, I don't have enough. But just out of the blue, I got a couple more pieces of wood. I am literally one wood away. Are you kidding? Okay, there we go. And as soon as you complete your boat, you get yourself the Halloween Event Award. And that means you have 100 shiny orbs for the Luobu Event. Welcome to Action Tower Defense. And in this game, the mission is to collect five candies that spawn randomly throughout the map. All you do is zoom out and try to find where the candy's at. Oh, look, there's one right there. So I'm going to go grab that one. And you got to do that four more times. Oh, I actually earned two candy from that. Never mind. It's even easier than I expected. So if we collect this one right here, I got another two candy. Okay. This seems to be really easy because I do see another candy on top of this house here. I don't know actually if they spawn randomly or in their set locations, but it doesn't really matter because I got six candy. And once you get all the candy that you need, go click at the top there, the Halloween event and press enjoy Halloween. Once you do that, you get yourself the Halloween badge, and that means you get 100 shiny orbs for your Luobu event. Welcome to Speed Race, and in this game, the mission is to collect five pumpkins hidden throughout the maps. Each map has one pumpkin in a set location, and there are more than five maps. So if you don't get the maps I get, just look around. The pumpkins are kind of small, so they can be a little difficult to find. I highly recommend doing the least detailed maps. The first map that I'm going to do is Heist, and this pumpkin is actually very easy. It's right in the beginning at your first run right hand side and then you can either die or finish the race and go to the next map this one is autumn woodlands and make sure not to die either because if you die before grabbing the pumpkin then that would be so sad now the pumpkin for this one is right here by the end of it you're gonna want to jump up here and then jump to this platform and there you go that was two checkpoints but anyways let's finish and go to the next one the next map that i got is night terrors and this pumpkin is a little bit difficult because you can barely see where you're at what you're gonna to want to do is take the right side because over this way there is the pumpkin now you might notice that the pumpkin looks a little bit different than the rest of the ones in this map the fourth map that i got is called clockwork coliseum and this one you have to go all the way to the first checkpoint just past it there will be an underground mushroomy area and that's where your pumpkin is located at the final map i got is called dunes and these are the types of maps that you should go for the super undetailed maps as you can see straightforward the pumpkin is on the right side grab it and you got it when you get all five pumpkins you get yourself the pumpkin collector award and that means you get yourself the 100 shiny orbs for the luobu event welcome to eater simulator and in this game the mission is to collect three candies throughout the map now i don't know why i'm invisible it's a little weird but if you are it's okay you should be able to collect it you just have to jump straight into it like i did there that is one candy be sure to use the speed bonus because it'll make you run a lot quicker especially if you're new like me but if you get more than one speed bonus all it does is extend the bonus it doesn't give you any faster speed that is the second candy and this over here is the third candy once you get three candies you can go on ahead to the pumpkin head over there with the girl walk straight up to the pumpkin and press that e button to spend those candies and you get yourself the halloween award as well as the 100 shiny orbs in the luobu game welcome to visitor and in this game the mission is to collect five candies scattered throughout the maps now what you're going to want to do as soon as you join the game is head straight into the elevator and it will take you into a random map. But when you get there, you can check a bunch of cupboards, drawers, cabinets, anything that you can check. You have a chance to get a pumpkin, get five pumpkins and the mission is complete.
Once you get five candies, wherever you got them from, you will get yourself the award, and that means you get 100 shiny orbs. Welcome to Toys Dreamworks, and in this game, the mission is to collect 50 pumpkins from the middle and sell them. But before we do anything of that, I highly recommend going in here and typing in these two codes, my gift 200 and my gift, because it'll give you a little bit of a boost that will help you out when you go and choose your plot of land. So I'm going to choose this one. And if you're just starting off, you might have to do a tutorial like I did, where you had to go and collect a few of the discs that are in the middle then bring them to your little dinky arcade machine wait around a while till it crafts it i don't really know what it does and then you take them out to go and sell them basically just make sure you're following that pink purple line that kind of guides you where to go and after you do sell the items you're gonna have to go to the shop and buy something to upgrade with but that's where your tutorial ends and where your grind starts when you're in the shop i highly recommend not buying the next toy machine but going all the way and buying toy Toy Machine 14, which is worth 15k, and then buying basket number 5, which is worth 2.5k. That will give you enough of a boost to make things go a little quicker because, like I said, after this, it requires a lot of grinding. In the beginning, remember how I mentioned to complete the mission, you need to collect 50 pumpkin tokens that come from the ring and then go sell them? Well, it sounds easy, but it's actually really hard. It took me four hours or more to do this, so if you guys don't want to do this, I don't blame you, but I'm still going to show you guys, for those who are interested, what you're going to want to do, like like I said, go to the middle ring where all these tokens, these discs are here, and wait around until drones come in to spawn in new tokens. Every time new tokens are spawned, there will be pumpkin tokens that are also spawned with them. But keep in mind, drones only come to spawn in items when there is almost nothing left on the ring, so if there's still stuff here, you have to clear it all out. And then finally, the drones come and drop more tokens, including the pumpkin ones. Now, what you have to do after that is collect 50 of those and bring them to the pumpkin in the back. Look, you you see this big massive pumpkin yeah that's the pumpkin that you have to bring it you have to walk straight into it and click on the green platform and then when the counter on the big pumpkin hits 50 that's when it will count down and then you walk back into the pumpkin and you will get a bunch of items that will fill up your basket keep going back and forth between this pumpkin and the cell shop to sell all your pumpkins now keep in mind if you're in a public server other people can put their own pumpkins into this big pumpkin so it could take a couple of tries let's say the counter hit 50 but you only put 30 pumpkins then you will only get those 30 pumpkins to sell you have to keep doing it over and over again filling up the pumpkin until you yourself have put 50 small pumpkin tokens in it honestly highly recommend just getting a vip they're free i don't know why i didn't do it it took much longer because i wasn't a public server but when you complete the mission you should get the halloween badge award and that means when you go to the luo boo game 100 shiny orbs are now yours welcome to freeze tag and in this game the mission is to find and collect three different colored pumpkins that are scattered throughout the maps now keep in mind that each map only has one color of pumpkin there's a bunch of different maps to choose from so hopefully you get three maps with three different colored pumpkins and everything works out fine now as soon as you spawn in all you have to do is find the pumpkin that's in your map there are a bunch of them that are spread throughout the map so don't worry about finding one single one you just gotta walk around the map and eventually you'll find one and here it is this map has the blue pumpkin and that's the one we need oh is that guy oh that guy froze me. As you can see here, there's another pumpkin here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that even though I got frozen. You don't have to do that because you only need one pumpkin anyways. Oh, also keep in mind that this map is called Gymnasium. The second round I got was in the map Pirate Town. And if you spawn where I spawn, then you will find, hey, normal looking pumpkins. They're orange. There's one right there. Oh, and down there is another one. Look at that. The last map is called Sigma Outpost. And oh, the pumpkin is right here. That's the red one. And once you collect three different colors of pumpkins throughout the maps, you get your freeze tag halloween pumpkin collector badge award and that means you get 100 shiny orbs back at the luo boo event welcome to demon hunter and in this game the mission is to find and collect candies that are hidden throughout the map but the first thing you're going to want to do to actually start that quest is talk to this little pumpkin dude over here that's waving to us press that e he's going to talk to you for a little bit and then you have to find 10 candies that spawn throughout the map in set locations just follow the path that i take here you can take any path really they're all in this spawn area it doesn't take too long should take you no longer than a minute to pick up all all of them but if you want to see what i did follow along with me to grab all 10 of them
Once you collect all 10, go on ahead and talk to Pumpkin Man again and press that get button and you get a pumpkin head. And also a Mr. Pumpkin badge award. Once you get that, your 100 shiny orbs back at the Luo Boo event should be yours. Welcome to the 20th and final mission inside Para Lives RP. And to complete the mission, it's one of the easiest ones. You have to go and create a pumpkin. To get there though, you have to walk all the way from your house to the middle fountain area zone. If you guys want to take a shortcut, you could always click the briefcase on the side and go to work and choose the pharmacist hospital because that is the closest building to the middle. Just walk on out from there and as you can see, the fountain is right there. Go to this booth that says make a pumpkin lantern. That's $100. Press E, then press start and do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm just gonna switch to randomly and there we go. As soon as you hit that complete button, you get yourself happy pumpkins day award and that means the final 100 shiny orbs are now yours inside the Luobu event. Once you guys have come this far, you should have 2,600 shiny orbs in your inventory. I currently have 100 more because Arc Tycoon replaced Mermaid Life and I did both of them, but that's besides the point. If you guys have come this far, you should have enough to go ahead and buy a couple of these items, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to exchange for this little night neck ring. I'm going to exchange for the punk sticks. That's what they're called. And now I'm going to get a brand new avatar item known as Musical Night. That is the headphones that everyone loves. Then you got to go ahead, like I said, and buy the these two up here to have access to the shirt over here and I only need 50 more for this one here so for right now that will be the end but like I said if you continue grinding every single day completing your 20 dances with a friend and every single week getting 10 of your friends to join your game you should be on your way to be able to get each and every single item that this event has to offer the missions that I showed you guys today will be done in just under two weeks so by that time 20 new missions will come in let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see me do 20 more missions for another video if not good luck when that stuff comes out and i'll see you guys in another event if this video helped you out be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you guys are new use star code twisted with two eyes whenever you're buying robux or premium and this is twisted Pandora signing off from one of the longest events i'm very very tired but as always don't forget to stay snazzy